To get started on our bar stitch, we need to create a foundation chain in multiples of three. Once you have your desired length, you then need to add three more stitches onto the end um, just to make this stitch pattern work. So to begin with, our first row is really easy. It is a row of single crochets starting in the second chain from the hook. So we're not going to count this chain on our hook. We're going to skip this first one here and work straight into that second one with a single crochet. Now I'm using Aran yarn um, and a 5.5 millimeter hook for this tutorial, just so you can see um, my work, but um, you can use any yarn and any hook size um, that goes with your yarn. So single crochet in each stitch all the way to the end and I'll meet you back at the end um, and we can move on to our next row which is another super easy row. Once we have completed our row of single crochets and we are ready to move on to the next row we need to chain one and turn our work and again a nice easy row single crochet in each stitch till the end so we're starting with this one here at the bottom of our chain one insert your hook and make that single crochet again i'm using us terms if you're um, used to using uk crochet terminology then this is known as a double crochet in the uk so single crochet in each stitch till the end and once you get there i will meet you back so pause the video and i'll see you in a second so I'm now at the end of my second single crochet row. It's a bit curly, but that's okay. We'll straighten out as we build. To move on to the next row, we want to chain one and turn. Now to begin this row, we're going to create two single crochets. So just work single crochet in those first two stitches. I'm going to bring my work a bit closer. Our next stitch is here. But we don't want to work into this stitch, we want to work round the stitch from two rows below. So if we follow this stitch down, our next stitch is in here, so we're looking at this stitch here. If we follow this stitch down, we want to work around this single crochet here from the row below, or two rows below, sorry. So if you pull your work apart a bit, you can see your crochet here, and you want to work around it with a front post double crochet so that I do have a separate tutorial for this if you want to practice this stitch on its own before having a go at this um, and I'll leave the link in the description box below but for um, I will show you quickly what we're going to do and how we're going to create that stitch so we need to yarn over to create our double crochet then still looking at that single crochet from two rows below you want to insert your hook behind it and then you want to yarn over and pull through just like you would a normal double crochet in the UK this is known as a treble crochet and then you just want to yarn over pull through two yarn over pull through two this row is the trickiest row of the entire pattern so once you've got this row um, completed and sorted the rest of the pattern is plain sailing <laughs> we are going to skip that double or skip that sorry, skip that stitch on the back where our double crochet would have gone if we'd worked into the stitch, which is actually this one here. So we don't work into that one. We're gonna work straight into the next two stitches with a single crochet. One and into the next one. So two for a single crochet, then across to the next stitch. So we would have gone in here, in this one here, so we're coming down so if we count from this one we went into there's one single crochet two single crochets we're skipping those and we're working around the third so just bring it a bit closer and show you i'm just going to take my hook out a second so we went around this crochet here we're going to skip one and two and then work around the third crochet here Okay, so we our next stitch on this row to work into is here, this one here. So you're always going to the side of that and then two rows down to find your next stitch. And then you're just going to work a front post double crochet around that stitch. So yarning over, going behind it and through. So you, the whole stitch is on your hook. Then you're going to yarn over and pull through. So then you have three loops on your hook. And then complete your double crochet by yarning over and pulling through two loops 
yarning over, pulling through two. And you're just going to repeat this pattern. So you're going to skip that one that you would have went um, gone into if you're working straight along the top. You're going to do two single crochets in the next two stitches. And then you are going to do another front post double crochet around that stitch from two rows below. Which is there. So pause and rewind the video if you need to. Remember we are doing two single crochets, one front post double crochet from the single crochet on two rows below all the way to the end. Pause and rewind if you need a refresher and I'll see you when you've got a couple of stitches left just so I can help you um, move on to the next row. So I'm almost at the end of my row, I've just got two stitches left and as you can see I've done the bar stitch in every third, around every third single crochet from those two rows below to the end. So I'm just going to do two single crochets to finish off this row and mimic the two single crochets from the beginning. I am actually going to change colour at the end of this row so I'm not going to complete that single crochet. I'm going to grab my new colour, so I'm going to attach my new colour and chain one and turn. I'm going to cut off the orange just so it's not so distracting. And now I'm just going to create a row of single crochets in that very first stitch all the way to the end um, of this row. So it's a nice easy row. Um, just to build the foundation row for our next bar stitch row. So single crochet in each stitch along until the end and then I will show you how easy the pattern is after that really tricky row um, to get going with. Now I'm almost at the end of my single crochet row. I've got this last one to do. I'm going to chain one and turn my work. Now this row it is easier than the last bar stitch row but it is a bar stitch row and this is how you are going to repeat the bar stitch throughout the rest of the pattern. So two single crochets just like before. So in that first stitch and that second stitch with single crochets. Now for our next stitch we are going to do a front post double crochet around the front post double crochet from the previous row. So no more fiddling about with trying to find stitches. It's really easy, it stands out, it's right there. Um, so it'll make your life a lot easier. So yarn over to begin with. Th behind that stitch, so behind the stitch, not through the work. Behind that stitch and complete your double crochet in the way you normally would. And we're creating, creating our bar. Remember to skip that stitch stitch here, this single crochet that you would have um, gone into and go straight into the next one with two single crochets. The pattern is just the same as before, it's just easier to locate that bar stitch now. So two single crochets and then a double, a front post double crochet behind the front post double crochet from the previous row. And then two single crochets in the next two stitches. And then a front post double crochet around the next front post double crochet. And repeat all the way to the end. So I'm going to meet you back when we get to the end here. Show you how to change colour again and move on to our next row. So pause the video, rewind if you need to and I'll see you in a few. So I have just completed my last front post double crochet of the row and now I'm going to go ahead and do my last two single crochets here. I'm not going to complete this very last one because I want to change colour. So I'm going to yarn over with my new colour, chain one, turn my work and just snip off that purple end. So as um, before we need to build a little foundation row before we do our bar stitch row and this is just one row of single crochets so into that very first stitch with a single crochet and then in each stitch along to create those single crochets all the way to the end of the row Ooh. 
where I'll meet you back and we'll do one more row together of the bar stitch and then you can go away and use it on your beautiful projects. So again, once you reach the end of your row, you want to chain one and turn. And now we're going to be working this bar stitch again. So we start the row with two double crochets, a uh, single crochet, sorry, two single crochets, double crochet if you're in the UK. And then we want to work a front post double or a front post treble around the front post stitch from the previous rows. Create that and then two more single crochets into the next two spaces and another front post double. So this row, this pattern is just a two row repeat. So you've got your row of single crochets, then you've got your bar stitch row. I actually really love these colors. They're giving me a little Halloweeny vibe. Um, so definitely something to consider for that season. So I am gonna go away and build my swatch up a little bit more so you can see it, see the bigger picture when you look at the stitch. Um, and I, so I will see you in a bit with my bigger swatch. And you can let me know what you think in the comments below. Below, sorry. <laughs> you can like and subscribe if you loved this video and share it with your friends. And if you want to see more from me, you can hit that notification bell to be notified when I release another tutorial. So I've now worked my swatch up a bit and fastened off and this is what the finished result is looking like, which I absolutely um, love. I just love the texture that it gives. Um, it does curl quite a bit as a, um, as a swatch. It is quite um, dense if you want to call it. Um, so it might be worth going up a hook size when you're doing this stitch or um, using a little bit of a loose attention just on those front post double crochets. Um, but yeah, there you have it, the bar stitch. So join me again soon for my next tutorial. See you soon.